Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, we're just up at the shooting ground and we've had a sniff of a welding job. Let's check it out. Just in a facility called the Pipe Range here. In short, it's a 100 yard rifle range surrounded in a concrete pipe. Using it eliminates wind errors and of course noise and ricochet risks for bystanders as well. It's really useful when sighting in new rifles, scopes or just zeroing a rifle to shoot on target. So what's the issue? Well, the pipe extends into the bank underground with a paper targets placed at 100 yards. But what if you only want to shoot at 50 yards, for example? It cannot be done at present since there is no access halfway down the pipe. So what's the solution? Well, if we fabricate a trolley or some sort of vehicle what can travel down the pipe and stop at 50 yards with a target on the back, then we can happily shoot at 50 yards, no problems. Now let's crack on and get it welded up. First job is to build a simple chassis. We're going to use Unistrut channel here. This will give us some flexibility down the line when component pieces have been shot to bits when it's been in the pipe. New component bits can be fabricated and then bolted back straight onto the chassis, meaning we don't have to replace the whole thing when it gets a bit tired. Now I'm just marking up some holes to be drilled here. The reason for these holes will become clear shortly. just laying out the two sides and the front and back here and then squaring it up with a tape measure measuring from corner to corner making sure it's all equal before we tack it all in place. Now the Unistrut channel is actually galvanised and I've cleaned all that off first before I've attempted to weld it because it will cause, uh, cause big problems if I didn't. Next we're going to make some rails for the wheels to attach to. These rails will be able to pivot around the chassis. This will mean the wheels will have full face contact with the sides of the concrete pipe itself. This is important for stability but also to keep the trolley in line with the pipe as it's been pulled up and down it. Now a set of good quality wheels often is really expensive. So I've been on eBay here and found some roller skate wheels which will do the job. They've got bearings in so it'll run really smoothly. So the wheels have been attached to the angle iron rails that were fabricated. These rails will now get attached to the chassis using the holes that we drilled earlier. Now this fit is a bit tighter than what I would have wanted, but um, it's better tight than uh, it being too loose and the wheels flopping everywhere. So quite happy with this actually. So that's the chassis all complete now, rolling nicely. Next challenge is that the pipe is pitch black halfway down. So we need to find a way of lighting up our target. The main thing is any light or lamp that we put down there on the trolley needs to be protected from gunfire. So we're going to use this angle iron with this angle iron deflector welded to the front and that should do the trick. So that just bolts onto the front of the chassis here, easily replaced if it gets damaged. Of course, a light or lamp needs a battery and the battery is gonna need some protection too. So we're gonna use this off cut of 100 mil by 100 mil 
box section to do that. So I'm just marking up this box section for some holes. The holes are for a stuffing gland where the cable will break out the battery compartment and also a little switch as well so we can switch the light on and off. So to stop the battery from falling out the back of the battery compartment, I fabricated this little pin which should keep it in place. Now we're going to mount the battery compartment onto the chassis now, we're going to use some angle iron for that and we're going to offset the angle iron by 20 millimetres and we're going to use these fireball shims for this. Great bit of kit these are, lovely. Battery compartment's complete now, you can see the pin holding the battery in and also on the underside we've got the compression gland and also the switch as well. Final job is to fabricate the target holder, now we're going to make this the same size as the targets that we're going to use and we're going to make it out of heavy steel as well because it's going to take a bit of a batter in this piece. Now running a cable from the battery compartment to the light bar, we're going to run it inside the channel and we're going to cap the channel off using this 3mm steel just to protect the cable. So we're all complete there folks, let's get it in the pipe and give it a try. Well folks, nice accessories for the pipe range. If you want to use it and you'd like to get booked on, please see the details down in the description. Please check out some of my other videos that I've done in collaboration with The Shooting Ground. As always, like the video if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.